again with Kara Adams, Chief Engineer of Firestone Racing. And uh, we've got a little bit of a challenge today. We're about to go qualifying for the Grand Prix at Indy. And it's a little chillier than we'd like. So what kind of things do you have to be aware of to have a tire that handles different temperatures? Okay, first of all, it is cold. This is the first time all day that I haven't had gloves on. You must be freezing. But we're glad to be here and able to talk to you. One of the things that we see is in Indianapolis, you can have a large amount of different weather. We've run here when it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and we've run here when it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have to develop a tire that works with all of those different types of weather conditions. One of the ways that we can control that is tread gauge. How much of the thickness of the tread you have. So if you have a really thick tread, it's gonna warm up more quickly, it's gonna stay hotter. But if your tread gauge is too thin, then it's gonna take a long time to get the tire up to speed, up to temperature, and up to that maximum grip. Okay, so you're speaking about uh, tread gauge is one way that you can control it. A lot of what we hear about is tire compounds. We have the red and the black. That's the obvious one to see. But when you go from race to race, you also change other factors to adapt to the track. Right, so we have a lot of similarities in all of our road course tires. So if you take this tire versus the tire at Circuit of the Americas, they're really not that different. Tread compound is our major change, and that's the, what you can see from looking at the sidewall. We differentiated the red Firestone tire from the black Firestone tire. The red alternate tire, grippier, it comes up to temperature quicker, and the black tire is nice and durable and consistent throughout the stint. But there are other things like tread gauge that we change. Now that's from road course to road course. There would be different things if you were looking at a street course tire versus a road course tire. There, the construction, the materials even that we use are different than what we use at a road course. What would be something that you would notice as a major difference, say, uh, the sidewall ver on a road course versus on an oval? Sure, a sidewall, there's a, a lot of differences. On the, the sidewall is going to be a little bit less stiff. So if we talk about how much the tire deflects or how much the tire bends under load, it's going to bend more under the same load because it's a it's not less stiff tire. So at a place like a street course, you're going to have things like bumps on the road, you could even have manhole covers, and you're going to have a lot of acceleration and braking. You'll have a lot of acceleration and braking here, but you have a lot smaller corners. So if you take a place like Long Beach, you have a 35 mile per hour corner. So you have to be have a tire that's soft enough and versatile enough. Here you might see longer, longer sweeping turns, so a lot of higher speed turns, a place like here, a place like Circuit of the Americas, you have a lot of long duration turns and you have to de design a tire that's durable enough for that. Okay, and then the last question I have for you, with the oval racing last year, IndyCar said that one of their main missions is to improve the quality of the racing. It was good, but they always want to make it better. Um, a lot of that was attributed to the chassis, but they're attacking it from all fronts. So what kinds of things has Firestone uh, adapted or changed to, to try and help that? Sure, yeah, right now we're running in one direction on the oval. We're, we're on the road course. We're gonna turn around and turn the track around for the next week. Um, we'll be running an oval configuration. Since last year, we talked about the aero kit. And one of the big differences in this aero kit is when a car gets in traffic, it lifts the load off the right front tire. So we wanted to design a right front tire, the construction of the tire that's more compliant, so it, it is less sensitive to load. So essentially, that's what we've tried to do with this tire. We tested it here back in October. Um, we tested it again after they put a surface treatment on the track. And all, so far, the drivers have said the tire has made a larger change in the handling of the vehicle than even the aero changes that they made. All right, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it.